Hey what's up guys Faisal here with another amazing video on our channel Billion Dollar iTech. In today's video I'll be creating a tutorial how to install Kali Linux on your virtual box. To practice your hacking and pen testing if you're interested stay tuned and let's get started. First we'll use a program called VirtualBox to install Kali Linux. VirtualBox allows us to create virtual machines inside our current operating system. So in simple words, if I have one computer, I can install many other computers inside this computer. So that will be virtual machines. These are very important if you want to practice hacking on multiple machines and mess around with different operating systems. It's very important to know that a virtual machine is completely separate machines working in your main computer. You won't lose anything by installing a virtual machine on your computer. So it's totally safe, widely used for pen testing. So basically, instead of having 4 or 5 computers you want to try and hack into them, you can install them on a virtual machine to practice your hacking. VirtualBox is free, you can download it. The link is in the description below. If you open the given link or Google download virtual box, you will click on the first link right here and just download the version that is compatible with your operating system. If you are using Windows, download the Windows version. For me, I am using Mac operating system, so I will download the OS X. Once the download is done, just double click on open installation file. Rest installation is easy. Just click next, next, next and install. So I have that installed already. Now this is my virtual box. As you can see it and I have no machine so far. Now the next step we will learn how to install Kali Linux on virtual box. Kali is flavor of Linux based on Debian and it comes with all the programs and applications that we need to use pre-installed and pre-configured. This means we can just install the operating system and start learning about hacking. There are two options to install Kali. You can install it, it is as virtual machine inside your current operating system or you can install as a main machine as main operating system. It is advisable use it as virtual machine because it works exactly the same as installed it on your main machine. Installing it virtually makes it completely isolated from your computer because it's only gonna run inside your virtual box. So if you mess things up in Kali, it's very easy to fix and go back to other configuration and also you won't lose any functionality by using it as a virtual machine. That's why I say it's advisable to use it as a virtual machine. In this video, I'm gonna cover it how to install it as a virtual machine inside your virtual box. I'm gonna be doing the steps on Mac OS computer but these steps are exactly same for Windows as well. So I'm gonna include the download link in the description below. I have it already open, the Kali download page here. All you have to do is scroll down and make sure click on Kali Linux VirtualBox images, not on the VMware. And then download the version of Kali that is compatible with your system. So if you have 64 bit computer, download the 64 bits. If you have 32 bits, download the 32 bits. Now click on the link once the download will start automatically. Now this is the downloading for me. I'm gonna stop it because I already downloaded it earlier. And you can see I get a window which will allow me to import this virtual machine. I will keep everything same and click on import. Now that is the virtual machine is ready to be used. Before I start let's make sure to modify some of its settings. We are gonna click on the setting in here and the first thing I'm gonna do click on system and I'm gonna modify the amount of RAM. It is now depending on how much RAM you have in your computer. You can give this two if you want to but 1 GB is enough for Kali. I will leave it on two because I have 8 gigs of RAM but if you have less 1 GB is enough for it. Also if you come here on the processors you will see by default I have two processors assigned to it because I have CPU so two process is not gonna affect my computer much if you have less one CPU is enough for Kali now we are gonna go network setting and we will set this net network 
what this setting basically does it's gonna create virtual network where my host machine which is mac os computer over here is gonna be the router for this network and then all the virtual machines are gonna be clients connected to this network so they are gonna get internet connection from my host machine which is mac and at the same time all my virtual machine will be connected to a virtual network this is very useful because my virtual machines will be able to communicate with each other we can use one to hack into other we can use it to test network attacks and much more so that's all I'm done with my settings and now I'm gonna click on ok and we can start our virtual machines now to start with all we have to do just click on start button here now I'm gonna click inside the virtual machine and hit enter and we are inside the virtual machine and it's asking us password for the username and the default username is root r o o t and asking us the password the default password is t o o r and that's it i'm inside my virtual machine now since we installed this with ready image we can click on view and click on full screen so we are able to go full screen that's it that shows how to install kali linux as a virtual machine also like i said you won't lose any functionality installing kali linux as a virtual machine it's actually better to install it as a virtual machine because it's completely isolated from your computer if you have any errors or complications let me know in the comment section below i will help you to resolve them if I get 500 likes on this video, I'll be creating another video about how to crack or protect your Wi-Fi password. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host Faisal. Until then, peace.